My name is Tony Manessis, I'm the playwright of 2050. For me, 2050 is really taken from this thesis that by the year 2050, uh, we're going to be so diverse as an American people that prejudice and racism won't longer exist because there's just going to be just an intermix of different kinds of communities coming together so there is no majority anymore. Which sounds really nice, I mean certainly like a kumbaya version of where this country is heading and I think that's sort of where that theory comes from. But just, you know, looking at the history of America and the malleability of race and the systemic institution of white supremacy, I am dubious of that conclusion. So it's a play that asks that big question of like, what if Latinos were white one day? What's gained in that? You know, cause it's power and certainly people who would be seduced by that scenario, but also people who would resist it. And where does that clash lead to? That isn't us now. Wait, Sebastian Spick. Is that what you want to be? Specifically, the plot is about this congressman who is like at this crossroads of identity politic where he's a Mexican immigrant specifically, came to this country as a child, was brought here illegally, is now in a position where he's been able to ascend in his life and is running for Congress. So he wants to preserve that heritage and honor it. But at this point, because Latinos are white, it could actually be damaging to him to actually claim that, that he has to sort of present himself as white to appeal to a broader swath. Is our America yours? Is yours ours? What do I tell my daughter about her promise? You're absolutely right, sir. Nothing's changed. So it's this sort of internal conflict. What I'm often doing with every play is dismantling perceptions and stereotypes of what Latinx people are. So I don't write cartels. I don't write gangs. I don't write sort of these narratives that have been prescribed onto people like me. It's showing different kinds of communities, more hopeful, more positive representation, still conflict and drama, uh, oftentimes with sort of this outside culture imposing these labels on us. Most of my plays are about that, dismantling the mythos of what a Latino person is supposed to be. So my political goal is get the audience care about the human beings first, and then hear the ideas that are coming out. There's a character for everyone in this play, and I think what I'm trying to do is give humanity and real intellectual rigor to each side and each idea that we can sort of understand both sides. And I think that's an important thing to do now, is not to kind of make the divide bigger, but to kind of bridge both sides that we kind of get where each side is coming from. And then maybe at the end on the ride home, you're like, wow, I just fell in love with a Latino family for a night. And maybe that translates into them actually falling in love with a Latino family in real life. Thank you.